Breaking. President Trump just shared sad news about his son, Eric. As we all know ever since Donald Trump was elected as president, the left has lost their minds and continues to display their mental instability on a daily basis. Instead of these leftists embracing Trump's plan to make America great again by securing our borders, bring jobs back to our country, and give us all break on taxes, liberals continue to harp that Trump is a danger to the world. To make matters worse, these hateful liberals not only attack Trump and his policies but aim at his members of his family including his youngest son Barron. Over the last week, the left has been relentless in their assaults on the Trump family reporting that Melania and the president's marriage was on the rocks after allegations that Trump cheated on Melania with porn actress Stormy Daniels early in their marriage. Now, it appears they are taking a break from this nasty reporting to focus on Trump's son, Eric and it could not be more upsetting. In the past, when people did not agree with the president or any elected official they would state their case and move on from the matter. However, that was then, and this is now where people have not matured enough to work together for the good of the country or have respect for differing opinions. Instead, there is an entire generation held in on dividing the country and attacking anyone who stands in their way. That has not been more perfectly demonstrated than when Donald Trump was elected president in 2016. For over a year. The left has been in full attack mode not only toward Trump but his entire family and in all honesty these attacks are nothing short of cruel. Though while the left may think they are only hurting the Trump family that could not be further from the truth considering what just happened to Eric Trump. Eric Trump is a hard worker but also has a great big heart which was demonstrated when he started the Eric Trump Foundation when he was 23 which raises money for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Over the years of Eric running this foundation. He has been able to raise millions of dollars to help children in need. However, leave to the left to ruin a good thing by forcing Eric to shut its doors claiming that it was a conflict of interest since his father was president of the United States. My wonderful son, Eric, will no longer be allowed to raise money for children with cancer because of a possible conflict of interest with my presidency, Trump tweeted. Isn't this a ridiculous shame? He loves these kids, has raised millions of dollars for them and now must stop. Wrong answer. Of course, this is ridiculous, and we are not the only ones who agreed with President Trump's outrage over Eric being forced to stop raising money for these precious children. Many people online were quick to point out the glaring hypocrisy between Eric's foundation and Hillary and Bill Clinton's foundation. The Clintons could have their foundation which they used for themselves instead of what it was supposed to be used for charities. Now those children are going to suffer because of her when his foundation money goes directly to St. Jude's, something very wrong with this picture, one person wrote. Another individual wrote, the children of St. Jude's shouldn't have to suffer because Eric Trump's father is the president. Eric Trump should be allowed to raise money for St. Jude's children. Now, this isn't the first time that the left has attacked Eric Trump and innocent children. Last year, when Eric's wife Lara was pregnant with their first child, he recounted the disgusting comments he saw on social media towards his family members. Here's more from that interview with Eric on Fox News. Eric Trump is hitting out at the hateful attacks toward his family, including his pregnant wife and younger siblings. President Trump's second oldest son, in an interview with Maria Bartiromo that will air Sunday, pointed out the upsetting comments he sees daily on social media. My wife, Lara, is seven months pregnant. If you saw some of the comments she receives from people. I can't even say them on the air they're so ghastly. There are no borders for these people, said Trump, executive VP in the Trump Organization. He said at the end of the day, he tries to let the hateful comments roll off, his, back, noting similar treatment of his younger sister Tiffany and 11-year-old Baron. Neil Cavuto discussed the comments with Gail Trotter, senior fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. She said the increasingly unhinged comments could have the opposite effect, turning off ordinary people. It's sick, said Cavuto, adding that a line must be drawn because some people may act on what they hear. There is no reason that Eric should have been forced to stop this foundation considering that the Clintons have been running a criminal enterprise for years with their elected foundation. Sadly, none of this will change immediately but it eventually will as long as we keep pushing back and exposing the left in their blatant hypocrisy.